going to you guys. Welcome to Chris Wrestling Views, of course, here on YouTube.com. If you're watching this on Wrestling Pit Podcast, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. So, you guys, we have the Clash at the Castle this Saturday. It's going to be 2 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, maybe like 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Time. But, you guys, we have Bailey, a, a incredible wrestler in all go around. Then we have Piper Nevin. She hasn't really showed much on Raw. They had her as like a dewdrop character, and that just pretty much killed it for her. But when she was um, doing the Mae Young Classic, a lot of people, you know, were very highly interested into Piper Niven. Now, with that being said, I got Bailey winning this match, but I feel like Piper Niven will pull off a, you know, pull off what she showed in the Mae Young Classic, and maybe even more. So um, I hope this match is good. And plus, this is her home country of Scotland, you guys. And so I think she will showcase an incredible match. Next, you guys, we have Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark um, versus the team of Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair versus Alba Fire and Isla Dunn. So uh, I think I heard that um, Alba Fire um, or Isla Dunn, one of them, their uh, mothers uh, got hit by a car. So all prayers go to them as well. And uh, this is their home country, uh, Isla Dunn and, um, and Alba Fire. So it's, you know, it's definitely going to be very interesting. If you don't know who Alba Fire is, y'all probably know her as Kaylee Ray. It's the same person. So if I had to pick a winner out of this match, you guys, I'm going to have to say it's going to be Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair retaining this. Um, because I guess when WWE decides to drop the titles off of them, they will probably, you know, lose it later down the line. Probably to uh, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. But uh, like I said, that's who I'm going to have to go with um, winning Jay Cargill and uh, Bianca Belair. Uh, I feel like this match is going to be incredible. Let me know what you guys think about that one. All right, you guys. So the match that everyone is talking about, about Chad Gable versus Sami Zayn for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now, I feel like what is going to happen here, I'm going to say... Sammy retains. Otis walks out on Chad Gable. Sammy picks up the victory. Now, it could go another route. It could go the route with, with uh, Chad Gable ends up winning. Maybe the Creed Brothers comes out and attack Akira Tozawa and, um, and uh, Otis. Maybe that will happen. And Sami Zayn, you know, is you know, is out there yelling or something like that, and then that's and then that's where you know all you know things go down between the Alpha Academy thing like that. But it's kind of a tricky one for me. Let me know what you guys think. Next, you guys, we have Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles in a I Quit match for the WWE Undisputed uh, Championship. Now, you guys, I feel like something weird may happen within this match because. I feel like they'll do like a recording thing, kind of like what Rock did at one point with um, uh, with Mick, with Mankind, Mankind, Mick Foley, whatever you want to call him. And then um, they'll have a part three match at Money in the Bank. And this match could be like a Falls Count Anywhere. It could be like a, Iron, a one hour Iron Man match or something like that. But this match right here is definitely gonna be incredible. AJ Styles and Cutter Rhodes—they definitely do know each other. They've been in I. They've been in. Um, they've been in uh, NWA um, together. They've been in AE. No, I think TNA at one point together. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. But let me know what you guys think about this match because I feel like this one may be the main event. But then again, it could be before the main event. But. This may be the main event, you guys. Damian Priest versus versus the Scottish Warriors, Drew McIntyre. So within this match right here, you guys, we have Drew McIntyre in this match. He's definitely going to be incredible. Uh, we got Damian Priest. He's definitely going to be incredible. Now, my head is kind of scratching on this one as well, you know, kind of like the Intercontinental Championship match, is what will happen. Will CM Punk cost Drew McIntyre once again? Will Finn Balor... In the Judgment Day, you know, be at ringside or something like that, and um, and end up maybe kind of costing Damian Priest his world title, and then after then Finn Balor goes on to um 
to Money in the Bank and wins the briefcase and then maybe, you know, maybe does a cash in or something? Or will Damian Priest retains? I mean, I'm very not 100% on this match because it can go either way. But if I had to say, it's going to be a difficult one. Like, come subscribe, you guys. Curse Wrestling Views, of course, here on YouTube.com. Also, uh, subscribe to Wrestling Pit Podcast. Shouts out to Lil Big Man Gaming as well. Be sure to check him out as well, you guys. Thank you for all the love and support that you guys are giving. Road to 100,000 on Chris Wrestling Views and uh, Road to 100 on, um, on Wrestling Pit Podcast. Thank you guys for all the support you guys are giving. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.